Okay, so um, a Rumble Panther casting call lined up like I said it would be after the last one, but eh, this this kind of has priority at the moment. So here we have Smash Chain casting call number three, and check this out: three characters up for audition, two of which that happens to be major. So let's get the minor out of the way. So remember when I said Rob would be the last character in Brawl I needed a voice for? I lied. Here we have the Pokemon Trainer. Let's just call him Red from this point, okay? So at first I wasn't even going to acknowledge this guy in the whole machinima, but after coming up with a solid backstory for Liz, I finally found a use for him. So anyway, Red is Liz's former Pokemon Trainer. He's brash, cocky, and always looking to take part in Pokemon battles if nothing else, which is probably why you don't see him in the tournament. He's also a little obsessive of his partners, particularly Liz even after their past issues. In fact, uh, he takes an abnormal amount of pictures of her. Take that as you will. Hey, you know what? I'm feeling really generous as to who tries out for this character. Male, female, something in between, it doesn't matter. You all may feel free to try out for this role. Go for either an excitable and hot-blooded portrayal, a kind of voice that sounds like you have a bad cold, aka the nerd voice, or your own personal twist to bring this closet perp to life. His audition lines are as follows. Okay, now it's on to the big parts that are up for grabs. One female and one male. As per usual, ladies first. You're finally gonna let Jigglypuff speak? Well, yes, but if you look harder, you'll notice that this is a melee snapshot. So this will be the Jigglypuff you'll see in Smash King Wakanto. If I were to describe Jigglypuff into one phrase, it'd be... Alpha Bitch. She's an insufferable snob who prides herself in living the longest of all the trophies. This incarnation of Jigglypuff has been around for several generations, which garners her the visage of being an old hag. But if you think that again under her... skin, whatever it is, you be in for a discouraging surprise. She has both the loose tongue to manipulate those around her, and the power to back it up. She is very formidable, her teams often winning the Smash Game tourneys of the past. Needless to say, Puff, as Bowser often calls her, has herself high on the largest pedestal of all time, with no sign of anyone knocking her down. Oh boy, Bowser has a pet name for her too? Wonder what kind of history these two have. Anyways, as for a voice... I want a voice that just exudes self-superiority and fabulousness, because she does tend to say words like darling or oh my gosh from time to time. I guess something like a valley girl kind of voice would suit her, or simply something incredibly snobby and self-important. But just so you know, Jigglypuff will emote a lot. When she actually gets angry, she'd be considered to be completely psychotic. So I want an actress that is perfectly comfortable to let it go and emote along with her. So if you're interested in Puff, here are her audition lines. Now then, let's fast forward back to regular Smash King. It's been hinted at. You even flat out see him in the opening ending sequences. And now, it's time that he had a voice. Ridley. By Act 3, the final act of the series, Ridley will join Ganondorf as a major antagonist. This voracious beast is bad, to the bone. There are no good redeeming qualities to this guy, as he salivates for the thrill of ruining everyone's day and wrought destruction and conflict wherever he goes, and whatever means. He is a malicious and sadistic Machiavellian who pledges his loyalty to only Ganondorf and lacks the respect for anyone else around him. And as powerful as he is, he may very well get away with it every time. Now, you'll notice that there are two versions of Ridley here. Well, I'll give you a slight spoiler to explain it. The bigger one, Meta Ridley, is the main body. Because of story reasons, he can't move about on his own like this. However, he's able to make a weaker offshoot of himself that will, that will pretty much interact with the rest of the cast the most. That's the smaller one, Ridley in his Metroid Zero Mission colors, hence he is nicknamed Zero on occasion. 
So they're essentially the same character, but I'm looking for a VA to feel both natures of Ridley's two forms. For Zero, I'm looking for a medium low pitched, guttural, throaty kind of voice. Perhaps something a little snaky, like, or ideally, a voice in the same vein as DC Douglas's portrayal of Albert Wesker of Resident Evil fame. I'll provide a reference to that in the description below. Then when we come to Meta Ridley, I like something more boisterous and ubiquitous, as Meta Ridley is a giant. Seriously, this snapshot makes certain things smaller than they appear. So with that, here are Ridley's audition lines. And there we have it. See a character you'd like and or would like to voice? Then perform each line that's given and preferably record them in MP3 format. Send them to me at this email address stating your name or online alias and the characters you tried out for. Alternatively, you may post a video response to this video with your audition. The deadline is October 8th. Good luck everyone!